Hi everyone, I'm Anuka Theresen, fertility physician and doctor mom, and here to educate on fertility. In this video, we'll be talking about luteal phase defects and what can be done to address this. So let's talk about that today. Let's go over some of the dynamics of the menstrual cycle in order to better understand the luteal phase and luteal phase deficiency. So the menstrual cycle can be broken down into three phases, the follicular phase, ovulation, and the luteal phase. In the follicular phase, the follicle is growing and the egg is maturing within it. Ovulation is the release of the egg. And then the luteal phase is the time frame between ovulation and the next period, and also the phase where implantation would occur. So starting with the follicular phase, the follicle is growing and the microscopic egg within it is maturing. The follicle is also making estrogen, and that estrogen is thickening the uterine lining and preparing it for later implantation. So once the follicle reaches a certain size and a certain critical level of estrogen is reached, then the follicle will release the egg in a process called ovulation. After that, the fallopian tube will come and pick up the egg. The egg will travel down the fallopian tube and meet the sperm. The egg and sperm will meet in the fallopian tube and that is fertilization. Then we have an embryo. The embryo will travel the rest of the distance down the fallopian tube and into the uterus. And that's when implantation would occur. The follicle then after ovulation becomes what's called a corpus luteum and the corpus luteum will make estrogen and progesterone and this will be important also for implantation. If a pregnancy implants, then HCG is produced and that HCG will stimulate the continued survival of the corpus luteum and that continued estrogen and progesterone production. If a pregnancy does not implant, then the corpus luteum will regress and die off, the estrogen and progesterone will decline, and then a period will result. Now a normal luteal phase is usually consistent in its time frame, and that is about 12 to 14 days whereas the follicular phase can vary in its duration and that can be normal. A luteal phase deficiency is defined as a luteal phase that is 10 days in duration or less. Now let's go over a little bit more about potential causes of luteal phase deficiency. There are several medical conditions that can be related to luteal phase deficiency. For example, hypothalamic amenorrhea, eating disorders, significant weight loss, excessive exercise, PCOS, obesity, thyroid dysfunction, prolactin dysfunction, and advanced maternal age and diminished ovarian reserve could be related to it also. Treatment will depend on the cause. So that's why it's important to see a healthcare provider to get a workup. And then if a cause is identified to treat that specific cause. If no cause is identified, sometimes we'll use empiric treatments like progesterone or ovulation induction medications like Clomid or Letrozole, though evidence is uh, limited for some of these options. So again, it's important to see your healthcare provider to get further workup and treatment if your luteal phase is short and to properly address it. That is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.